Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the after sex or after orgasm. What will be happen in our body? So first of all, we will understand the overview of the sexual uh, intercourse and orgasm, how it can occur. So let's understand about that. This is a female and male, both partner important for orgasm during the sexual intercourse. So in this way, the physiological and psychological stimuli will knock to the brain and in this way the brain will change, the nerv their nervous system will be changed. Remember the autonomic nervous system innervation during the orgasm. So autonomic nervous system will stimulate first the parasympathetic nervous system. It is due to the hypogastric nerves, the vagal nerves. In this way, the parasympathetic nervous system will lead to erection of penis and female genitalia, clitoris. And in this way, the uh, erection of penis and female genitalia will lead to a, a erect and insertion into the vagina of the female is priority. Sympathetic nervous system activation after this erection for the uh, ejaculation due to the pudendal nerve stimulation as a sympathetic and in this way the ejaculation will occur due to the sympathetic nervous system. In short, the sympathetic nervous system is used for the ejaculation while the parasympathetic nervous system is used for the erection. This is the vagina of the female and uterus. This is the reproductive part of the female. This is the ejaculation show in the orange color. While the female also produces the fluid is known as the vaginal secretion. This vaginal secretion is important for the lubrication and insertion of the penis easily. After the ejaculation what will be happen in our brain the limbic system will get the reward and the sexual pleasure. Our emotion will be changed and dopamine, serotonin. Uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine will release for the sensation of the orgasm. The endocrine system, the hypothalamus will trigger the gonadotropin releasing hormone after the orgasm or ejaculation to trigger the pituitary gland to produce more follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone is important for the again production of the sperm is known as spermatogenesis while the luteinizing hormone is important for the production of testosterone and estrogen for the female. The testosterone production and spermatogenesis will trigger while the estrogen will produce because female not produce again and again uh, egg. So on the other hand the estrogen important for the secondary development and the male is important the testosterone. Let's understand about the nerves in the limbic system. So the presynaptic neuron contain dopaminergic neuron, which that is major excitatory neuron excite the uh, this a post presynaptic neuron will release the dopamine vesicle into the uh, into the synapse and it dopamine neurotransmitter will bind with the dopamine neurotransmitter receptor lead to excitation and the sodium move inside will lead to excite. So the excitation is the postsynaptic neuron. In this way, the sexual pleasure, cognitive function and relaxation will occur. In this way, basically, this sexual pleasure will lead to positive feedback for again a reward whenever we will need. Let's understand about after orgasm what will be happen. This is the important um, topic we are understanding. So this is the brain, the basically uh, the hypothalamus uh, below the thalamus, which does contain pituitary gland here, two lobe. So the basically is the prolactin will release due to, due, to, due to the dopamine release. More will lead to prolactin will release. This prolactin will uh, enter into the blood circular system. It means it is endocrine hormone. This endocrine hormone endocrine hormone will lead to specific tissue like peripheral product, uh, reproductive organs. This target will lead to inhibit the dopamine in, uh, dopamine production so the inhibition of the dopamine and feedback to the brain as well as 
inhibit the libido desire of the sex for several time like uh, one day to week this is the red color showing that dopamine while the prolactin will produce from the black color show so this is the graph this is the constriction in the vertical while the horizontally show the time the dopamine will increase will lead to orgasm and rapidly decrease while the prolactin will increase prolactin dopamine relationship is important for the normal uh, sex sexual intercourse and in this way the after orgasm we will not need more sex at orgasm dopamine drop and prolactin shoots up prolactin function to uh, basically slow down uh, sexual desire and prolactin continues to be released in surge for up to week after orgasm sometimes some for some people but some for some people one day inverse relationship with dopamine is important so that is why the benefit of orgasm is too much important for learn so the boost mood relationship strength boost mood mean we will fresh feeling feeling of the fresh and in this way the relationship strength mean the between the partner the relationship uh, basically uh, will uh, among the partner basically uh different uh, relationship will increase improve sleep and body confidence and reduce a uh, stress improve complexion and add a glow strengthen pelvic muscle and minimize the blemish and relieve pain i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share see you in the next video for this time bye